Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have 2017 Land Rover, 87,000 miles. This is 5.0 supercharged. This is the real deal. Uh, five to eight minute video. I'll tell you absolutely everything you need to know in order to consider a purchase. We will start with exterior condition. And by the way, this video is in 4K. So if, you, if you're watching it on YouTube, make sure your player set for high definition. It does make a huge difference for the picture quality. Perfect finish on the left, no dents. Perfect finish on the right, as you can see. Now, vehicle history is as such. In uh, first of all, this is <laughs> actually happens to be my own personal vehicle i've had it for over two years which i think is the longest i've ever had vehicle in my life um, i purchased this car over two years ago as recovered theft this vehicle was stolen it wasn't recovered in 30 days insurance company paid it off to its previous owner and then i bought it from the insurance company I've had this thing on my Copart watch list for probably eight or nine months, waiting for the insurance company paperwork to come through. Vehicle was not stripped or damaged. However, keys were not in. And when the keys are not in, they don't know what the mileage is in the car. So you have to guess on it. I car faxed it back then. I, I saw the last record just before it was stolen was like 10,000 miles or 11,000 miles so I knew the mileage would be super low I bought it I brought the car in I had two by the way this is a $500 key I have two of these made because this is my own personal car and vehicle had 12,000 miles currently vehicle has 86 or 87,000 miles so I put that much in just over two years it's been all over US uh, Miami, New York, mostly, almost every month. So this is all 90% highway mileage. I do this due to the business. You know, I buy cars for a living. Uh, it is not up for any maintenance whatsoever. What I mean by that is I have Pirelli Scorpio tires that have about 5,000 miles on them. Brakes have uh, roughly about the same thing 5,000 miles both front and rear battery has been replaced last year absolutely every option works on this thing and it has a lot <laughs> so now let's start with interior interior is in good condition Hardly any, just a little bit of uh, tear and wear on the bottom left, but overall, none. I have, um, these I bought immediately because I always use rubber mats, and I have a set of brand new carpet mats uh, in the office. I've never used it, I took it out, that's it. So. The back seat is practically brand new. I don't think anybody ever, ever sat in there. Trunk. I do have a trunk partition. I took it out because um, when I travel, I need room. So I took it out. It's in the office. We have it if you need it. Uh, again, I have the cargo bay protector. I have 
full size pair obviously and some of my personal stuff you know cables god forbid you know tape and stuff like that once again i travel all over us with this thing so i gotta be ready if shit hits the fan Now, um, if you look in the ad, I actually still had them on file. I put the pictures of vehicle when I bought it from the insurance company. You can see it sitting there at the auction without any damage. The windows were down, so they put a tape over the windows. That's just how they do it in order to make sure the interior doesn't get messed up. Uh, and because there was no keys, obviously, they couldn't roll the windows up. Uh, but the, uh, overall, the, I mean, the vehicle was all there. Uh, we didn't have to do anything at all. 86154 on the clock. Now, in the ad, I put it as 87 plus simply because uh, I still drive the car and I hate for somebody to show up and say, oh my God, you know, you put 200 miles over what you advertise it with. So I actually prorated it and I will change it as I'm driving it, but I'm trying to switch to different cars right now so the vehicle is on the lot if someone comes in to look at it because i'm not on the lot most of the time uh the warning light says spare tire is low in pressure which we will take care of in a minute now this is top of the line uh here the steering wheel massage seats you name it this thing has it and all that stuff works Additionally, I had dash camera installed, not for the front only, but for the back as well. So there is a back camera as well, because in this game, liability is crazy. So I'm not taking any chances. inside the engine bay 5.0 for those who don't know and you can google everything i say and it will back me up now there's two power trains i mean, there's diesel as well but we're going to talk about two main ones which is 3.0 and 5.0 the difference is night and day i'm not even the fact that 3.0 is just a shitty engine period is besides the point but for a large truck like that performance wise it's just not doing it. I'm sorry. It's not my personal opinion. It, it's just a fact. 3.0 is not doing it for a large truck like that. However, this 5.0 is superb. This engine been around forever. It is shared with the large body Jags. Uh, it uses uh, BMW X5 uh, parts. So everything is 100% on that. In 22 years of doing this, being a salvage reseller, I haven't seen a bad 5.0 yet. And I have seen a lot of 3.0s, a lot. So this engine is pretty much bulletproof. Everything inside the engine bay is factory original. All the stickers, everything is here. I uh, printed and put in the pictures, copy of the Carfax on the Carfax. I think in 2020 it had minor rear end damage in Florida in Miami that actually happened to me on the parking lot I was backing up and I uh, hit the lady I didn't have to do anything at all I had like a hair scratch on this side of the bumper we simply buffed it right out that was the end of it but she made a police claim and uh, an insurance claim rather so it went on record and that's what you see on the Carfax once again absolutely every option on this truck works no issues of any kind um, quite honestly it is 
my favorite vehicle in 22 years in business. It's pretty much impossible to um, impress me with the car, but this one is. I'm only selling it because I'm ready for the new body style 2023. Couple things to keep in mind as a selling process. Uh, I'm gonna keep it as simple as it possibly gets. Number one, the, the sale going through the dealership, obviously the title is not in my name, it's in the name of the dealership because I'm tax exempt, I don't have to pay for the plates, so I don't have to pay tax. Uh, so taxes are on the top of the price. The price is at the bottom dollar. I'm not interested in any type of uh, offers, changes, exchanges, or anything like that at all. I made sure this is the bottom dollar, best value around. Again, I do this for a living, so uh, I'm not selling it because I need the money. Uh, I'm not really selling it because I need to sell it in the first place. You know, I'm just ready for 2023. Now, there's nothing wrong with the truck. Uh, we don't do any financing. Buyers own bank always, always welcome. Third party inspections. No problems whatsoever. Uh, Lemon Squad, what have you. Send them out. They will check the car out for you if you'd like. What else? Shipping available nationwide anywhere in the US. Very, very affordable. Um, and if you need a shipping quote, simply send an email and we will reply with the shipping quote. I will consider a trade-in. It would have to be under $20,000 in value. By the way, this thing has, this is my first car that I bought that has a overhead display. And I don't know if it's visible on the camera or not. And I would not buy another vehicle without overhead display at this point. It's just one of those options you absolutely must have. Uh, you can do away without uh, seat massagers it's kind of pointless to me but overhead display is excellent option and that is it look at the photographs there is a lot of them once again this is a nice clean truck without any type of problems obviously if you were going to pull up a magnifying glass this being a 2017 you will find maybe a hair scratch or something you know some kind of minor blemish somewhere within the reason but overall vehicle is a solid nine and a half on one out of ten scale and that is it the other thing we ask is before you come out please please call us let us know you are coming out once again the reason is i'm not on the lot most of the time and i still drive the car that's it thanks for listening uh, have a wonderful day bye bye